So, what's going on guys? Shooter here. And today, I wanted to bring up two things. One of them, because of something I just saw. But before we get started, I want to say that when worse comes to worse, playing prior Call of Duties with the Search and Destroys can relieve some of the stress of the prior call of the new Call of Duty. Now, stress in Call of Duty is measured by noobs, the gay shit that the that companies continue to put into the game. You know, this this whole thing first was seen in MW um MW3. No. Why did I say 3? 3 just came out. In MW2. We, this was where we first started to see where we first started to see all the bullshit and all the gay things that we'd hoped that could be fixed but never got fixed. You know, we wished, we hoped for it, but they didn't do anything to fix the problems. Now, this is an overstretched topic for most people, but I've already said that the basis for having fun is playing with a team. Okay, you're, if you, maybe not even a team, maybe just one or two friends. Someone so you can talk to and you can laugh at with what gay happens, you can rage with. There's a big thing, you know, just so you can have fun. Because the main goal of this all should be fun. If you're not having fun doing this, then you are honestly doing... Look at that crappy dish, theater mode, Jesus. Then you're doing something wrong if you're not having fun. Now, many people, you know, but even though you're not having fun playing these games, people are still going to play them, people are still going to buy them. You know, that's not going to eliminate the buying or the, the selling of these games. They're going to keep coming for as long as as I live, as long as you live. It's going to keep coming until there's something else that overrides it, that overshoots it. Alright? But, the only reason why I'm doing this is because I did watch a YouTube video, Pwnstar did it, and he officially announced that he quit this game, and he gave up Modern Warfare 3. I didn't give up on it yet. Search and Destroy, a lot of fun. Okay? I haven't had that much as much fun playing in Call of Duty as I've had playing Search and Destroy Modern Warfare 3 in a while. Now, one, I'm playing with a team all the time. I very, very play by myself because that's very rage-inducing. You know, playing with noobs and scrubs that have no idea what they're doing just literally takes it out of you. So I play with friends, and usually I'm with friends. You know, I've said this before. I usually only get on Xbox if, one, I text somebody because I want to get, I want to play. We'll see if they'll play. Or I get a text from someone telling me to get on that is what you do that is how you you go about you, you kind of go about this you know the only reason why I have an Xbox and for even a second play video games is because I have friends that did it before me or I've played with and I bought the Xbox they bought the Xbox and it was fun from the beginning the beginning is where everything comes from you know you know there was a beginning to call of duty which got it going it was call of duty 4 call of duty 2 even world at war was a good game at par but after that it invited the crappy players and the people that didn't really have the skill level because the game was how should i say this Te teetered teetered I, I don't know if that's a word but it sounds like a word toward the players that aren't good helps the people that aren't good why do you put things in the game that everyone says they don't like are the things that are bullshit or if you put them in the game make them fair perfect example last stand it, Treyarch had to put it in just because it's last stand you have to have it but in fact they did have it to where you only can have a pistol that's a that's a nerf that's a disadvantage also with you only having a pistol you can have a um what was I gonna say you, if I put you down in last stand and someone else gets the kill, I get the points. They get an assist. Modern Warfare 3, Infinite Ward had it to where I can put them down, someone else could kill them, and they get the kill. Alright? That's that, that's not right. That's not how it should go. And after Infinite Ward fixed it, Treyarch still... I mean, after Treyarch fixed it, Infinite Ward still put it in. That's bullshit. You shouldn't do that. Alright? Secondly, something that also... That just pisses me off indefinitely. Now, this is going to carry on, so we'll put a picture or something, but it won't be long. 
So this pisses me off indefinitely. The entire fact that you can... Actually, I might throw another gameplay at the end, depending on how long this is. But the entire idea that when you're aiming at one of the at the little reticule there at B flat or it, at, at A bomb, how it doesn't disappear when you're looking at it. Why would you take something out like that that everybody said they liked, and it was a good addition to every game mode when you looked at something like on the map and you zoomed in and it faded away, and then when you zoomed out it it came back. Why would you get rid of that? Why would you get rid of things that were put into the game that people liked? What is the point in doing that? There's no point. Zero point in doing that. I cannot stress it enough, but you will continue to do that because money, money, money is all you care about. Now, you're not going to say that because that's not right to say. Everyone who does YouTube cares about money. Now, I can't say I care about money because I don't make money. Okay? It's all about money. For hundreds and hundreds of years, there has been something in society that makes people tick, that makes people want to live and stride for and it separates people it was you have land you have animals crops and now we have money money is what makes the world go round money is what makes people want to live survive and do and do whatever money is the key driving factor in society today and it will always be until something else comes up but that's dead all right if you want my advice find a game mode in call of duty that you consider not to be bullshit. I think Search and Destroy is not bullshit. But there's a million other game modes that you can play that you that you personally can consider not bullshit. So you play the game modes, you maybe test them out and see what you have fun with and you continue to have fun with. Play with friends, that's always good. But you need to see. And if you can't find anything, well just stop playing then. It's dead to you. Alright? I can't stop playing because other people want to play and it's just fun and in times it's fun to play because you can the, I don't even know how to say that, but that's what I, that's what I have to say about that. Secondly, S and D routes, both of them a lot on Xbox. Search and destroy. He's amazing. I'm amazing. So good combo. Um, he gave me the idea that I should do something where I get gameplays from people, and then I upload them to my channel with my commentary over them. Now, I did say I wanted to wait for community things, but I said that's not bad. And since I'm on a battlefield gameplay, and battlefield is dead to me right now for some awkward reason. We'll talk about that later. I'll do that, and it'll cover a video of the day. Everyone can be happy. Everyone will be energetic and happy about that, so we're going to do that. So what I want to do is I'm going to mention this in other videos because, you know, not every video gets watched for some awkward reason, but what I want you to do is I want you to send me a message on YouTube, Xbox, give me your gamer tag, or if you have the footage, send me the footage. You know, for some reason, you know, you might, you know what I mean? But I can go get it out of your online vault. If you have a vault and you're on Xbox, I can go get it out of there and I'll record it myself. I'll do that. I don't care. Big whoop. He he has a couple gameplays he wants me to put up on YouTube because they're amazing. And they are amazing. You know? So I'm going to do it. And I really don't care. So I'm going to do it. So um, that's that. All right. I hope everyone enjoyed this. That's the truth about Call of Duty, though. That's the state. It's an over-addressed topic that everyone knows about. But... You should be more aware about it because it's never going to change. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope everyone has a great week. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Remember to talk to message me up the clips. Comment below with the clip thing. And I will talk to everyone later. I hope everyone has a great day and a great week. Thanks for watching.